Hello, kindergarten. Last day, it's Friday today. Uh, I wanna start, I wrote another sentence for our animals or pets journal, right? I wrote, we have a cow in the barn. And so I didn't write, I didn't draw my picture of my dogs or anything. I just drew, I tried to draw a cow in a barn. So that's that journal right finish. So I'm gonna take this one down, we'll review our sight words, and then we get to do a special journal right. So let me take this down. Think about how, how do you spell the word does? Does he have any french fries? Does he have ketchup to go with the french fries? All right. So read, spell, read. Here's our word this week. Does. Let's read it. Does. Spell it. D O E S read does and our other side words read them when you see them she was little he you do my are is with what want Whoop. Oh. for said this here me they of have so we'll do our green list at the end of the video hopefully i remember let me pick this up okay so we've been writing about animals and pets and stuff, but we're gonna switch gears here and uh, talk about Mother's Day. So today is Friday. That means Mother's Day is in two days. So Mother's Day is on Sunday. So it goes Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. So on Sunday is Mother's Day, and this is a day when Ma moms everywhere should get to have lots of peace. They should have a whole day, a whole peaceful day. So that means you have to try your best to listen to what your mom says and do what your mom asks you. Maybe even you, maybe you can even help them uh, like by keeping your messes cleaned up or um, trying to be peaceful with your brothers and sisters if you have them. Um, maybe you can ask your mom if you can help her in some way. Just remember, this is a day for moms to have lots of peace. So be very peaceful for your Mother's Day. So, I thought we could do a journal write that will help you to be able to make something for your mom. So this isn't, I mean, you could use this page for to make something, but I thought I could show you some different sentences that you could take off of your journal write, like you can write along with me. So write what I write, and then you can take your journal page and make something make a card or something for your mom. So get started with that. So the first sentence I thought we could write is, I have a great mom. I'm gonna get my marker and you get your pencil. And first step though, I'm gonna write my name and the date. So I'm writing my name at the top. I hope you're practicing your names. First and last is great, and it is May 8th, 2020. I have a great mom. Uh, am I gonna start right here? At home, you should be saying, no, Miss Snow, 
Should I start over here? No, Miss Snow, you should start on the left. Okay, I'm gonna start on the left. I have a great mom. Now, get ready to write this down so you can take your sentences and make a card. I have a great mom. And I am going to put an exclamation point because moms are so great. The next sentence kind of just wishing your mom a happy Mother's Day and recognizing that there's a special day for moms so they can have some peace. So I'm gonna write happy Mother's Day also with an exclamation mark. So happy starts with an H and uppercase H, it's at the beginning of the sentence. Happy. Now Mother's Day is a holiday so I'm gonna Upper, I'm going to capitalize the first letter because it's a name of a day, name of a holiday. Ooh, these got a little funky, huh? Happy Mother's Day. I'm also going to upper, I'm going to make this an uppercase D because that's part of the holiday name. Happy Mother's Day, exclamation point. So you can write this down in a really great one. I love you, Mom. I love you. And now we need one of these commas. Just make a little curve right here, that's a comma because we're gonna pause a little and then mom. Uh, mom is a name. <laughs> I'm just gonna go mom. You can do another exclamation mark. Point. Alrighty, what did I write in here? I wrote, Mom, you are the best. So I'm going to write that up here. Mom, uppercase M, comma, you are the best. So now what you can do is the first step would be to think or ask your mom some things that she likes. Like, does she like, what's her favorite color? What type, like, does she like flowers or does she like animals? What's, what are some things that she likes? So you could make her something you can make her a card or you can use a full paper and draw her a picture and write some of these sentences. So, um, and then you can give that to her. So what I did is, what I want you to do is take what we wrote right here. The, you have this page in your journal, but I'm not saying to give all, give this to your mom. I'm saying write down these phrases, these sentences. And what you can do is choose one or some of these sentences to then use another piece of paper and make your mom a card or a picture. And you can write, like on here, I did purple flowers. My mom likes purple. So I did some purple flowers on a nice sunny day. I wrote mom and then inside, I took this sentence right here, mom, you are the best, and I wrote it in here, mom, you are the best. And then you could decorate the inside if you're making a card. And then if you can't, if you don't have, you know, if you can't make your mom something, 
remember, just try your best to be very peaceful on this day and help your mom and clean up your messes and, and uh, work together with your siblings if you have siblings. This is a day for your mom to be so happy and so peaceful. All right, I hope you're able to, you know, make your mom some something. Do something for your mom on Mother's Day because moms are amazing and they do so much for us. All right, let's do a quick review of the green list and then I will see you next week for story time. That's what I'm moving on to. Okay, here we go. Green list, read them. Does. Who. Play. Come. Where. Help. Look. To. Good. Has. All right. Have fun making your mom something or, uh, being so kind to her. All right, I'll see you next week for stories. Bye.